Tell me a little bit about the development of X. That was your baby, if I'm not mistaken, right? Hey guys, it's me, Alan Schilke, the designer of all those roller coasters you guys like. This is a message to every amusement park. Please stop asking me to retrack your wooden coasters. I made the track on my projects all twisty and weird on purpose because I got tired of making them. And I thought people wouldn't want to ride stuff like that. But I didn't account for these maidenless weirdos called coaster enthusiasts who like getting their thighs crushed and getting headaches. So please, stop sending letters to my mailbox about RMCing this and RMCing that. I'm tired of doing it. Why else do you think the restraints for my coasters change to these bulky things after Iron Rattler? Safety? Don't make me laugh. Now excuse me while I go ride the SNS Axis coaster in SNS's backyard. Picture this, you like a roller coaster. I know, strange, but just bear with me. That roller coaster is getting pretty old. So old that it is reaching the end of its service life, which is translating to a rougher ride for the rider and maintenance troubles for the park. This becomes an issue. Maybe the park could close the ride, but what if the ride is still pretty popular? What's a good way to solve this conundrum? Okay, Alex, you're steady. Just make sure you don't push that butt. Oh no, Alex. Oh no, Alex! Look what you've done, Alex! Oh, yeah! And just tear the fucker apart and put up a new one. Enter retracks. And generally, there are two types of retracks the partial retrack and playing God. Partial retracks are pretty common, especially on wooden coasters. Maintenance teams are capable of keeping up with wooden coasters to prevent some roughness or potholes, but inevitably time wears on all things and Woodstock Express suddenly has a pothole at the bottom of its second hill. This can shut down a ride for days, weeks, or even months at a time, though most of these retracks happen without public knowledge during the off-season. Usually, this has a great effect. They retracked Great American Scream Machine at Six Flags Over Georgia, and it went from jackhammer to ride to a top four coaster in the park. Gravity Group recently retracked Grizzly at King's Dominion, and ditto there. What felt like being inside a Coke bottle with Mentos exploding it all over the place is now pretty solid. And then you have RMC retracking Mind Blower at Fun Spot, and they've somehow made an already rough coaster so bad that they had to close it again. And then there's the fuck it option where parks just say, fuck it, and get their dynamite ready. What? Oh, dear God, no! We see these usually on steel coasters, especially older b and classics that are relatively easy to maintain and still draw in crowds like Hulk at Islands of Adventure. Hulk was a unique case since unlike most b ms it operated year-round rather than seasonally, so it reached the end of its service life faster than most. Dueling dragons at the other side of the park probably did as well, which is maybe why they're sitting at the bottom of the Universal Lake. But with Hulk, they decided to retract the whole thing. Seasonal coasters like Nemesis at Alton Towers and Kumba at Busch Gardens Tampa are reaching the end of their service lives right now, so only time will tell if we'll see a purge in B&M's, or if B&M gets a hilariously long list of track to send to various parks around the world. Dear God. But forget about all that, that's not important. Because on this channel, I ask the real questions. Do retracks count as new credits? If I rode Hulk on my Universal trip in 2015, and I didn't because I was a little bitch, but if I did, would it be a new credit when I rode it post retrack in 2018? It's the same layout, same location, but the entirety of the track is different track. I count the various Batmans at Six Flags Parks as different credits even though they're the same layout, because they're different locations and physically different track. Hulk is in the same location, but it is, by definition, physically, a different coaster between 2015 and 2018. What about partial retrack? Should they count as new credits? That's brand new roller coaster track you're riding. Sure, it's only 20%, but it still makes it a different coaster, right? Can I count 20% of a credit? Maybe 20% isn't enough. Is it different now that it's 60%? Over half of the coaster was retracked. Does that constitute as a new credit? Or just 
60% of one. If a partial retract doesn't count as a new credit, then why would a full retract? Because it's complete? Maybe these bat clones are all one credit as well, but then Great White at SeaWorld San Antonio is also a bat clone. It's just not called Batman. Lots of B&M inverts like that have similar elements. In fact, lots of B&Ms have similar elements. Lots of coasters do as well in general. In fact, virtually all of them do. What I'm trying to say here is I only have one credit, and it's Wile E. Coyote's Canyon Blaster.